Hey everybody, what's going on? Admin Moy of Tales Twin Tales here, and today we will be covering lighting. Now, lighting is a very, very fun thing to do in SFM, only because of all the really cool effects you can pull off with it. So, to start, we're going to spawn in a new light. To do this, you press over here the plus button, create animation set for new light, and that'll spawn you in a new light. Though it's right in front of Tails' face, so he's kind of blinded by light at the moment. Um, that was an unintentional Final Fantasy XIII reference, if anyone gets it. Okay, so now you might be wondering, wait, I backed up only a little bit, why the hell is the... Oh. <laughs> Basically, you, um, you start out the light at the same um, width that you're at with the camera, so zoom out the light a lot, like this much, back up all the way into the wall, and then face it at tails. You'll notice a massive difference there. So let's make it so we don't see that white spotlight or whatever it is. Get back to tails, and who boy is that bright. So what we're going to want to do now is mess around with the intensity. This intensity right here measures how um, well intense the light's going to be. So this is set to middle, so if we set it to max, it's going to be really bright. So let's set that a quarter of the way down. And this is pretty good. Now, ambient intensity, I'm not exactly sure what it does, so let's not mess with that. Horizontal field of view is going to mess how wide the, white, the light is. And this is also going to mess with how wide it is, but vertically wide. So, mess with this at your own content. You can already see a couple of the shadows starting to move around. I kind of like this one. So let's stick with that. Oh yeah, you can totally see a difference here. Actually, let's do this one. This one looks nice. About that much. Radius increases the well the the overall circumference of uh, how big the um, the light is. So the ones that really matter here are shadow filter size. This is going to define how thick or how detailed your shadows are. Now, what I used to do is bring this all the way down the to the bottom. And you'll see there's like this really nice shadow go over go over his hair. But if you zoom in to that it's actually pretty pixelated and you don't really want that so what you're gonna want to do is set that just a little bit more and there you go that gives you a better shadow shadow attention or shadow atten defines how dark the shadow is the lower is the darker higher is lighter make sense min distance is how is how minimal like how much the light is going to reach. You see if I bring that all the way down, the shadow on that on, on his um, hair disappears. So let's bring that back to default. Max distance is how long the shadow is going to reach. You see if we bring that all the way down, it, sort of does, it doesn't even reach tails. So let's bring that back to max. Constant attenuation. This brings the brightness up to max. I've, I haven't been able to figure this out yet. I'm not exactly sure what it does, but I'd rather not mess with it. Linear attenuation only brings that up slightly, so it's like a slight filter there. Let's bring that up a little bit. Shadow depth bias, I'm not sure what this does either, to be honest. Z far a 10 uh, will basically give you that nice little spotlight effect. It's pretty cool if you ask me. And now here we go. This is the ones you'll probably want to mess with the most colors with these sliders right with these three sliders you can edit colors red is blue red omits any red from that light so it makes blue omit any green makes kind of a pinkish color and then blue is yellow so let's uh, let's give this a nice little blue glow and then add some pink in there give them a nice little purple tint okay so that's that light and now let's add a second light. This light will be his overhead. This will be on top of Tails. Oh, let's leave it this way. You see a nice little orange yellow glow on top of him. Looks pretty good. Um, since it looks like that, we're going to go ahead and leave it this way. But notice, while it does look pretty cool, it adds a couple shadows that we don't exactly want. So let's disable shadows on that and see how that looks. 
Mm. Actually, on second thought, let's keep those shadows. That actually made, made it look pretty cool. Oops. There we go. That makes it look a little bit cooler. Now, let's mess around with the shadow filter size and see if we can make that a little bit more detailed. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's make the shadows a little darker. And let's make this green. Um, uh, even no, like a yellow. And then add a. No, let's add a blue to that. No, it doesn't balance it. Balance it too well. You know, let's just leave it white. Looks nice like that. And now we're gonna add a third light. This light is gonna be the most important one. It makes the character really pop out. So what we're going to do for this light, we're going to zoom all the way out as far as we can. We're going to head all the way back behind tails, turn around, and you'll notice there's actually quite a bit of difference here. But first, let's, there we go, glow better. You'll notice that he has these little yellow lines behind him. Those are rim lights. They make the character really pop out and it overall gives him a better quality. So we're going to leave that like, like so, except we're going to increase the intensity up to yonder. And now let's see what the animation looks like in play. pretty cool. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to do a couple more things to him. We're going to, uh, well that seems to be it for lighting, though there is one more light I want to add and this one's a little bit more complex to do. Spawn a light and spawn it under him. This will give him a nice little glow from the bottom. Though, so set the intensity up, down I mean, just a little bit. Not too much, but just a little bit, like that. Shadow filter size, there's no shadow, there shouldn't be any shadows for that, so let's bring that all the way down. The color for this will be pink. That'll really balance it out. Alright, so that was today's short lesson in lighting. If your character looks something like this, then you did, then you done did a good job. And that's the end of this episode. If you liked it, then please do come back for more. I'm happy to help you out in whatever you need. Um, next episode is going to be some more animating tips. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned.